Hello and thanks for joining me today. Uh, in this short video, we are going to look at uh, the changes that Red Hat made on the RHCSC exam objectives. That's the EX200 exam. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and turn on the notification. Let's get started. So what I have done here is uh, to open the official Red Hat exam page. That's uh, the RHCIC exam objectives page uh, currently as it is uh, today. And what I have on this side of the screen is uh, that's the exam objectives before the changes were made. So we're just going to compare side by side. And we're also going to look at um, what exam you should take with um, rail 10 released uh, recently uh, the first objective here we have uh, understand and use essential tools that's still the same that did not change from the uh, old ob uh, objectives still the same so understand and use essential tools is the same what's new however is manage software so uh, this is uh, a new objective that has different uh, you know tasks under under it so configure um, access to rpm repositories and how to install and remove rpm packages uh, flat pack as well so flat pack repositories that is uh, entirely new to the rhcsc uh, exam rpm well if you've been using rel based systems uh, before then you know that it is um you use RPM packages uh, anyways, uh, but Flatpak, that's new entirely. So I will make a separate video, which will be part of my um, the playlist I, I have for the RHCSA exam objective. So uh, this is currently missing there because they just updated this uh, recently, but that's the new thing they've added. So moving on, we have create simple uh, shell scripts is the same, nothing changed on the that objective. If we go down, operate running systems, the same thing, nothing changed, same old. Um, create and configure file systems, same thing, nothing changed. That's local storage. I mean, create and configure local storage. Yes, that same thing. Uh, but on the um, create and configure file systems, so if we look they took out create and configure set GID directories for collaboration under create and configure file system that isn't there anymore. So the last uh, item on that list is um, diagnose and correct file system file permission uh, problems. So this is not there anymore. And if we scroll down, deploy, configure and maintain systems, uh, it's same thing, nothing changed actually. Networking as well. That's uh, configure basic networking. Same thing. And if we go down to manage security, the last uh, bullet point has been removed. That's diagnose and address routine SC Linux uh, policy violations. That's the it's it's gone. So the um the last item on that list is use boolean settings to modify uh, system SC Linux settings. So uh, that is it. And uh, finally. They took out manage containers, so that's as you can see, that's the end of the uh, object, the exam objectives currently as it is uh, today. Manage containers isn't there anymore, so uh, let me see. Yeah, that's that's it. You don't you don't need to worry about you know uh, doing uh, stuff with uh, containers anymore, at least for the uh, RHCSC exam objective so if i scroll up like this yeah you can see all this i presume they've moved this to the uh, ex188 certification exam that's heavily focused on containers so yes um that's that's it uh, actually so the changes are um the main things i think you should try to understand is this bit that is uh, new that's managed software and rpm you probably understand how to do uh, to you know to um, configure access to rpm repositories and install or remove rpm packages software packages 
for flat pack that might be new to uh, most people and as i said i will make um, a separate video just to cover this particular objective because i already have a hands-on playlist that covers all the other objectives so there's nothing uh, new here uh, apart from you know managed software if you're planning on taking the exam right and if you have been preparing using this objective that's before the update you know um, I would suggest that you go for uh, the version 9.3 of the exam because you you will be able to take version 9.0, 9.3, and 10.0. So I am saying this because with these changes and with RHEL 10 released, you know, um, this is what's currently, this is what you'll be tested, you know, against if you're taking the exam and you go for the latest that's 10.0 so if you have been preparing with um following this objective the one that has uh, you know the one with containers then go for version 9.3 of the exam and that you can only select that if you get to the final stage of scheduling the exam you get the option to choose which one you, which one you want to take uh, but if you, you know, if you start preparing with uh, the new exam objective, you're focusing on rail 10 and you're doing, you know, things with this particular, um, objective, you know, RPM uh, repositories, uh, flat pack repositories, then that's essentially what's new, uh, from, you know, from what we've seen, that's, that's the only thing they've added. Then you can go for, uh, rail 10, but uh, I mean, um, version 10 of the exam which would potentially be on rel 10. So uh, personally, my advice, my opinion would be take 9.3 if you've been doing stuff with containers, you know, if you if you, if you have been preparing with this object, using this object. So uh, I think I'll, I would stop here and uh, I'll uh, make that video, you know, on what's new. That's this one, this one. I'll make a hands-on video on the tasks that, you know, things you expect to see on the exam when you uh, prepare to stick with this new objective. I would like to uh, I would like to thank you for uh, watching this and please do subscribe if you've not. A big thanks to those who have subscribed already and please do share with anyone you know you know that's preparing for the RCSA or just someone who is you know learning uh, Linux in general. Bye-bye and see you in the next video.